once again to Time with Joseph. As you all know, I'm your girl Cynthia, and today we're again in my kitchen. Yes, you can see it's different today. The last time I know it was white, I did this by myself. Okay, if you want to know how to do, you know, this channel we do a lot of DIY, so I renovated the kitchen to my taste and I love this color. If you know you love this color and you want to know how to do, drop your comment on the comment section. Alright guys, if this is your first time of coming across this channel and this is your first time of seeing this face, you're welcome, thanks for watching and also don't forget to subscribe, hit that subscribe button, like this video guys because it helps a lot. Like this video, drop your comment and also share this video. For my old subscribers, oh my gosh, you guys are the best. Thank you for helping me grow this channel to this extent. If not for you, there will be no time with Joseph. Thank you all, thank you all for watching and for subscribing to this channel. And again, don't forget to hit on the bell notification icon so that you, yes, you, will be the first person to get notified whenever I drop my video. Today, I'm preparing this Obunge delicacy. Today, I'm cooking this Okra Ogono soup. So without wasting much time because my hands are itching to start doing something, let's check out the ingredients. Alright, let's go. Alright, these are the ingredients we'll be using for our okra ogbono. Okay, of course, we'll be needing this okra. It's called lady's finger here. <laughs> I was surprised also. So we'll be using this okra. We'll be using ogbono. It's already grinded. Then I'll be using this mackerel fish. I left the egg because my husband loves it. He said when the one is young, he do call it shiri shiri. <laughs> So I'll be using stock fish. What is Ogbono without stock fish? <laughs> then I'll be using this grinded pepper. I added Cameroon pepper also to make it a bit odd because I like it spicy. So we'll be using this crayfish already grinded also. One more. Some salt. Yes, I'll be using this cow legs, which the Yoruba called brocotto i actually knew that here they will be using this smoked fish i'll debone it okay then we'll be using beef and some shaki i'll be using this i love this this iru ibe which is a um, locust beans then i'll be using our no cubes then i'll use this beef stock also to boil the meat of course palm oil all right don't mind my voice i have um running nose so okay the first thing we'll do we'll boil the meat so we'll start with the hard one this are uh, this is tough so i'm going to start with this i'll start with the, the brocotto and the shaki and the kwomo. I will leave the beef first because I they believe the beef easily gets uh, soft so I'll leave that then I'm just going to put my beef stock then add one more cube add salt so I'm going to add my ginger and garlic paste so I just blended this together and put it in a container and it's there in my fridge. Then I'm going to add a little thyme. Then onions. I actually love it. I know some people will be surprised onions for Gono, but I love this. Try this and you thank me later. <laughs> So I'm just going to mix them. So then I'm going to cover it and allow it to boil without adding water. So for the okra, I'm going to slice and grate. I'm slicing it because I also love the chunk of okra in my soup. Okay, but when I'm making just okra, I just love um, slicing. I love to see the chunk of okra. So this is going to be my vegetable. I'm not using leaf, but you can go ahead to add ugu or any vegetable of your choice. Okay, and then I'm going 
going to grate the remaining ones. Okay, now we can see our meat has been boiling and we can see that we have it produced its own water. This is the stock by itself. Now it's time to add water and a light to cook. So now I'm going to add my beef, then I'll add little curry. I love the feeling of curry in my beef. So it's not, it's not going to be any problem for our soup. It's actually very nice. So just mix and allow it to cook. So this is the pot I'll be using for the soup. So these are dry um, smoked fish and stock fish. So I'm just going to boil this. Then I add one cube of no, one no cube. Then add little water. Adding little water first because I'm still going to add the stock from our meat. Then I'm adding my iru, this dried iru. The crayfish. Then we add our pepper. Just mix and allow it to boil for some time. So that the stock can be tender. Right, I'm just going to add my mackerel fish okay. okay so I've already removed the mackerel fish it's time to add our beef and our cow leg our meat okay then the, we'll also add the stock Add the stock so I already saved it I add more water then we'll add our gonna I missed uh, added oil palm oil to the ogono then we'll just pour it inside our meat Just stay. So, if you want the soup very thick, you can add little water. It just depends on the consistency you want for your soup. Okay. All right. So for our okra, I just added um, hot water to make it loose. A bit then I add it to my soup okay this is our okra ogono this is my I don't like just ok ogono like that if I'm cooking ogolo I would definitely add okra so this this is how I love it this is the right consistency for me now it's time to add our fish which we Ella removed so we don't want it to scatter inside the soup so we have to be gentle with it Time to add it then we just stir the soup then we'll add our remaining nut cube and salt to taste okay all right guys if you stayed to the end of this video i want to say thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe like share this video and don't forget to hit on the bell notification icon so that you will be the first person to get notified whenever i drop a video look at the chunk of okra wow that's how i love seeing it 
all right guys it's time to have a taste mm. wow this is delicious oh yeah oh our soup is ready ah come and join me let's have a taste of this delicious soup mm. this soup is made in heaven <laughs> all right guys thanks for watching see you on my next video bye